This right here is a root beer float, but instead of root beer, I use coffee. It's creamy, smooth, and gives you all the caffeine that you need. So one of the reasons I started vlogging is because I wanted to ride more and ironically because I spent so much of my time making bike videos I don't get to ride as much. So let's go for a bike ride and we will go to Mount Helix. So this is Mount Helix as you can see. Um, it's quite mountainous around it. I never trust Google Maps, so instead of using navigation, I just like write down everything that I'm gonna be doing, all the turns and such, and how, and that's how we get to Mount Helix. Let let let's 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 go to Mount Helix. So I got a little lost, I took a wrong turn, but I think I found it. I did that, I did that, I did that, or did I? I think that's where I went wrong. So that right there says Alto Drive. And if you know anything about Spanish, Alto means tall. And while you certainly can get up the mountain this way, it's going to be tall. Instead, what you need to do is counterintuitively ride down this street, which will bring you back up to another slope that will go up the mountain. I'm good at climbing and route planning and all these things. <laughs> You know that feeling where you, you're so out of shape? I mean, you know that feeling where you ride so hard you want to vomit? Yeah, me neither. This is super easy. It's so easy. Day three, it's a sweltering 85 degrees with a very little breeze. I'm beginning to unintentionally rhyme as the face pounds against my sun. The, the, the sun pounds against my face. We shall continue on. Day three, the party has made considerable progress of about three meters. And the emotional tolls of this climb is taking a toll on me. I've been thinking about all the people who I've wronged in life, especially my viewers abroad, not in the United States. And for that, I sincerely apologize. Friends, it's also drive. And, and that number up there is what I assume is the difficulty level of Alto Drive. Alto Drive, you sure are tall. After that ordeal of hyperventilating and sweating and being re relatively unpleasant, I made it to Mount Helix. I really hope that they haven't run out of any dome fossils. It's not bad up here. So while we are here on top of this mountain, let's have a little Q&A because last weekend we just hit 1,000. That's with three zeros. That's a lot of zeros. 1,000 subscribers. Hi. That's a lot of people. Now, thanks to Thomas Bong, I'm sorry if I mispronounced her name, for suggesting that we do a Q&A for the 1,000 subscribers special. And uh, thanks for providing the questions. All these questions are from Mr. Thomas Bong. If you have any questions for me that uh, you'd like me to answer, like, 
ask them in the comments, because that'd be nice. Anyway, let's get on with the Q&A. So our first question, what was the worst crash you've ever been in? The worst crash I've ever been in was about two years ago. I was riding with two friends, Dorian and Min, in downtown Sacramento. And while we were having the time of our lives, we blasted around a corner, and I was in the lead of the pack. And little did I know um, that I was turning right into some railroad tracks. Railroad tracks kind of like to eat wheels, and so I fell. And, and I, I got a boo-boo right there, but I don't know if you could see it anymore. And that was my worst crash. Thankfully, nothing spectacular. Question number three, what was your most memorable moment on your bike? One of the most memorable moments I had for my bike is from this video. The most memorable part from that was when I had to ride on the interstate. I had to ride on I-5 because the bike lane was closed for whatever reason, and so they, the government just put up a sign like, hey, cyclists, use I-5 as an alternate route instead, instead of this nice, safe cycling path. So for 12 miles, about 45 minutes, I was riding about like one foot, one to three feet away from semi-trucks traveling at about 60 miles an hour. So I have to say that is my most memorable moment. Question number five, do you plan on working with bikes in the future? And the answer is, Hopefully, I would really love to get in the bike industry. I love doing bike things. I love doing bicycle advocacy like this YouTube channel. And the ultimate dream for this YouTube channel is to be able to monetize it and make this my job. But that's a dream and dreams require hard work, which is what I'm doing now. Question number seven, tips on college or high school. And let me just preface this answer. I don't think I'm qualified to give anybody tips on college or high school because everybody's college and high school experience will be vastly different than mine. But my tip for life in general is try to, try to find some balance in your life. Although it's in our culture to want to work super hard to achieve the most best things in life and to be in order to be happy and to impress people, um, that's dumb and you should have balance in life and just do do what you do. Any tips? Um, don't, don't be a super workaholic and plus that's who you are. Um, that's, that's all I got. Question number eight, what other hobbies do you have? Uh, mostly gaming. I do, I do a lot of Hearthstone, play a lot of that. I'm a rogue player, if that means anything to you, if you, any of you play Hearthstone, if you wanna add me, here's my friend code or whatever. Some other games I play are um, Destiny for the PlayStation 3 because I'm slightly poor, and Borderlands 2 is another good one for friends to play and waste a lot of time together, <laughs> spend a lot of time together. Other than gaming, I just like being with friends and spending time with friends and being hooligans. Uh, you will see my hooliganness in future vlogs. Question number something, I lost count. Do you get jelly with other fixed gear riders? Um, by that I mean you seem jealous. I personally like peanut butter. But do I get jealous with other fixed gear riders? The answer to that is kind of no, but kind of yes. So no in the sense that I just ride to enjoy my rides. I'm not really too into stats, how fast you can ride, how many miles you can ride, or how many feet you can climb, meters for you international folk. And so I don't really get too jealous. But in a sense, I do get kind of jealous because the people that I meet on group rides are really incredible riders. I personally am not willing to invest my time into becoming a super great rider. I just ride for enjoyment while these people ride to really be the fastest. Question number 112. What is your dream fixed gear bike? I'm riding it. And for our final question, we have a really weird question that I have actually thought about, strangely enough. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? And I am a sucker for birds, and I really don't like horses, so I would rather face one horse-sized duck. Now, ducks are kind of docile animals, as far as I've seen, well, at least when I'm bigger than them. And so I assume that a docile little duck will be a docile large duck. And so I can hug the duck and it would be very soft and ducks are really, really soft. So I would rather face off with one horse sized duck because that would just be a dream come true. So that's all we have for the Q and A today, but if you'd like 
for me to answer some more questions, I'd be happy to do that in our next vlog, so leave them in the comments below. And thank you for being in the 1000 subscriber club. You know who you are. You know who you are. And for everyone who's not in the first 1000 sub club, welcome to the channel and I hope you like what you see. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Uh, no, today's Wednesday. And I will see you all on Saturday. I feel like I'm looking at something naughty.